Over the last couple of days, I've showcased Llama Coder as well as Gemini Coder, which are two web-based AI coding agents that can enable anyone to build applications with live visualizations similar to Anthropic's artifacts. Today, we're diving into another impressive large language model coder called DeepSea Coder. Developed by Hassan, the creator behind Llama Coder and Gemini Coder. This is where this new DeepSea Coder will host the new version 3 model. Now, Hassan has also recently introduced a new update to all of these different coders, where he has introduced a brand new clean conversational UI with improved functionality for version iteration. There's also configurations to ensure high quality outputs from large language models. And essentially, these enhancements are going to make app generation more seamless as well as efficient than ever. Now, what sets DeepSea Coder apart is that it offers a complete free access to both the platform as well as having unlimited usage of the DeepSea version 3 model. For those who are unfamiliar with DeepSea version 3, it is currently one of the top ranked open source models where it can outperform GPT-4 Omni as well as Claude 3.5 Sonnet in several benchmarks. It is actually doing quite well in coding tasks, which is great to see, and its exceptional capabilities in code generation make it the perfect match for the coder that Hassan has actually created. So with that thought, let's get straight into the video and showcase this deep sea coder. Now, this is the new uh, interface for the coders. This is where you can access Quen 2.5, Llama 3.1, as well as the new DeepSeek version 3 model. You have the ability to configure the chat CN packages where you can enable this. You can toggle it on or off. You can also have it so that you can select high quality output or low quality output. Low quality is going to get you responses faster, but with high quality, you're going to get the best uh, generations. You can go ahead and create anything. You can go ahead and select one of these prompt templates. Go ahead and send this in, and within a couple of seconds, you'll have a visualization of what is being generated. This is something that will easily generate all the components for you. It will create functional buttons, functional components to the UI, and you will have a live visualization of what is happening. In this case, you can see it's generating all the necessary code that is needed to build this SaaS business uh, landing page. And you can see uh, with this prompt, you're going to be able to visualize it afterwards within this preview section. And there we go. We have the landing page within this preview and you can see it was able to create the sleek landing page for the SaaS website. You'll notice one thing where you can now have it uh, distributed to another page, whereas before it would simply go ahead and generate whatever you would want within the bottom section of the page. Now, this is going to easily enable you to build various sorts of applications within minutes. Let's now enable ShadCN and let's have it create something new. We're going to go ahead and create a time zone dashboard. So let's see what it's capable of creating with the ShadCN package installed. And there we go. We have the first iteration of this time zone dashboard. You can see it has multiple different time zones. And I believe this is where you can add a couple of others. And it actually did a great job in adding almost every time zone. So this is actually really, really cool. And it was able to do this within a couple of seconds. Now, what you can also do is you can even uh, enhance this. You can even do something like make it even better by simply pressing this in. You can then have it iterate on the second version of this design. So you can see it's working on a plan for a searchable time zone selector. It's going to remove time zones, better time zone display, skeleton loading, and it's going to go ahead and add these additional features. And afterwards, you can preview it within the second version on the bottom right corner. And you can see this is the second iteration of this time zone dashboard, and it definitely looks a lot better than what we saw before. And this is what you can do now with this new coder where you can iterate on different versions more and more as you can continuously iterate within this box over here. Now let's try something with the low quality faster mode. We're going to go ahead and create a recipe site with this new mode and efficiently have it create this site. Now what I'm looking for 
is seeing how fast it is in terms of generating content. Obviously, after using something like Rock or Cerebrus's app generator, this is super slow compared to what they're capable of generating. But you can see this is something that is faster than the high quality output. It's capable of generating the code a little bit faster. Obviously not super fast, but you can see it's doing a great job in terms of generating the code quite quickly compared to the high quality output. And in this case, we should have it generate the recipe website within a couple of seconds. And guys, this is just truly insane. This is a preview of the recipe application that is capable of generating with the Shatsian packages. You have a five minute microwave mac and cheese recipe. If you click on this, you have all the ingredients. And in the same manner, you have the ingredients for a three ingredient cookie. Now, you also have the ability to install this locally, where you just simply need to clone this repository, add your together AI API key, and then you can install it with the NPM package. So if you're interested in doing this, go ahead and copy this code. You need to make sure you have a couple of prerequisites. You need to make sure you have node.js installed, Python installed, as well as Git, as well as Visual Studio Code to add the API key. So go ahead and open up your command prompt. Once you have that opened up, paste in the link to clone this repository. Since I already have Llama Coder already installed, we can go ahead into the Llama Coder uh, directory by typing in CD Llama Coder, click enter. We can go in and configure our together AI API key within VS Code. Once that is done, simply go ahead and run the npm install command. This will install all the necessary packages. And once you have installed everything, you can run the npm run dev command so that you can start this up within your local host. So I'm going to go ahead and start this up and we should have it opened up within our local host over here. So copy this, we can then go ahead into our local host and we can start accessing Llama Coder once it has initialized in our browser. And there we go. We have the ability to start generating whatever we would like within this web-based browser that is fully local hosted. If you like this video and would love to support the channel, you can consider donating to my channel through the super thanks option below. Or you can consider joining our private Discord where you can access multiple subscriptions to different AI tools for free on a monthly basis, plus daily AI news and exclusive content, plus a lot more. But that's essentially it for today's video on DeepSeek's new coder. I definitely recommend that you try this out with all the links in the description below. Huge props to Hassan for continuously working on developing different coders that anyone can access completely for free. This is definitely something that you should try out. It is free and it is web-based hosted. So definitely recommend you try this out. I'll leave all these links in the description below. But most importantly, make sure you follow me on the Patreon if you haven't already because this is a great way for you to easily access any paid subscription completely for free as well as accessing our private discord make sure you follow me on twitter great way for you to stay up to date with the latest ai news as you're continuously uh as i'm continuously posting different sorts of content related to ai over here so that you can easily stay up to date with whatever is happening in the space and lastly make sure you guys subscribe turn on the notification bell like this video and please take a look at our previous videos because there is a lot of content that you will definitely benefit from but with that thought, guys, have an amazing day, spread positivity, and I'll see you guys really, really soon. Peace out, fellas.